So we're here with Sony, who is announcing a brand new range of CyberShot cameras, including this one, which it is dubbing as its perfect travel camera. It's the CyberShot HX20V. So the basics of the camera are pretty much as you might expect for a camera of this type. So it's got a 20 times optical zoom, which is great for getting really close into objects, but it's also got an excellent wide angle so you can capture lots of the shots. And it's also got Sony sweep panorama mode, so you can make really, really wide shots simply by sweeping across the scene. Other features it includes is a full HD video mode and it's got stereo microphones as well. So you should be able to capture decent audio, although of course we'll be testing this in our own labs. Looking around the back of this camera, you'll see that it doesn't have a viewfinder like the Super Zoom Bridge camera, the HX200V, uh, but it does have this LCD screen, which from what we can tell looks pretty good, although we'll get our lab to have a closer look and see exactly how it compares to the competition. At the top of the camera, you see it's got a good mode dial here, which is uh, very trusty. It's got a nice action on it. And it's also got the uh, zoom controls on the capture button right here. And also here we've got the menu control. So it's got a 360 degree dial with a menu button in the middle. And this screen isn't touchscreen like some of its other compacts. And if you are traveling around, it's got GPS built in so you can geotag your photos on the go and then put them on maps when you go home. Now, despite the fact this really is quite a compact camera, you definitely could fit it in your pocket, unlike a Super Zoom Bridge camera. It really does handle really quite nicely. It's got a nice hand grip here that really sticks out, which is made of rubber, which means you can really grab hold of it really nicely. And it's also got a little thumb grip here, so that when you're holding it, even one-handed, you feel like you've got a really secure grasp of the camera. And if you have shot a really nice full HD video or you want to show your photos off on your TV, there's also an HDMI video output behind this flap, which means it's really easy, although you'll probably need an adapter to get this to work.